everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Top 5 Friday. Today we are talking about 5 books that I love, that I remember absolutely nothing about. One of these actually won my favorite book of the year, the year that I read it. I don't remember a dang thing about it. Nothing. Um, now, these are books that it's not that I remember, that I, that I don't remember... Uh, some of it is that I don't remember any of it. Books that I have gone back and I have looked at my review. I've been compi compiling this for a while because I've been going through reading some of my old reviews on Goodreads. And these are books that I, that I have read the review for. It's like, I don't remember any of that. Now, as far as uh, books like this are concerned, I have, I could do an entire list of just Dean Koontz books um, that I've read that I really enjoyed that I, that I can't remember anything about. It is hot here. Uh, it is still hot. I think it's like uh, 80 degrees here today. Uh, it is the, oh, not really middle of October, but anyway, so you see me raining. That's why. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into it. But these are books that I loved. I can't remember anything about. Not a single plot point, not a single character, anything. Uh, also, they're not really numbered. <laughs> they're, they're just five books that I, I can't remember. Our Souls at Night by Kent Haruff. Um... I have read three or four of this dude's books. These, this, this dude's books, yeah. Um, three or four. I can't remember any of them, but this one, I mean, I kind of remember, uh, there's like, uh, there's one with a really long title. I can't remember that one either. I've read Plainview, uh, Even Long, Even Tide, Even Tide. And then there's another one, um, but I remember like bits and pieces of the plot point. I can't remember anything about this. I had to go and read the back of the, uh, well, not the back, but the, the dust jacket for this to, and I still don't remember it. Uh, that's going to be another running theme for this is after I read the description, uh, I don't recall it. Um, I know I both read it and listened to the audiobook, so that's impressive. Um, I don't know why, but this one just completely, uh, I, like I said, I loved it. I don't know what frame of mind I was in, um, but I, I loved it. I just don't remember it. And these are books, none of these, these aren't books that I talk about often because I just, they, I just don't consider them. So that's, I guess, number five. Um, this one, <laughs> this one's going to be a shame because after she passed away, I said it was my favorite one of her books. And as far as emotionally, it is, but I can't remember why, so I got to reread re it. That's Sula by Toni Morrison. I don't remember anything about this. I don't remember it, who the character Sula is. I don't remember what happens in the book. Uh, none of that stuff. And one of the one of the reasons I'm doing this is be, uh, this this video and last week's video, uh, which was uh, five books that I love that I I don't uh, that I didn't understand upon finishing. A lot of the, these are things that most people w would not admit to, and I'm trying to I, I'm trying to break down those walls and get people to say that there's no shame in, in admitting these things. There's no shame in going, hey, I love that book. I don't remember anything about it. Um, but it also goes back to the, what I was talking about a few weeks ago. It's like reading is not a competition. We're all doing this for fun. Just because you read something and enjoyed it and don't remember it, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and there, There's a lot of shame going on in the book community right now, and I'm, tr I'm trying to get past that. So let's talk about things that maybe we wouldn't normally admit. I would love to have that discussion down there in the doobly-doo. But yeah, Sula is another one. Toni Morrison. And I'm sure there's people like, how, how in the world can you not remember this? I just can't. I can't. Next up is one that I remember being fascinated uh, with while I was reading it. I have no idea why. That's Auto Fiction by Hitomi Ken... Kenahara? Ken Kenahara? I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry uh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's autofiction. Uh, fascinating book. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I don't remember anything about it. I remember enjoying it while I was reading it, and that's about it. Uh, that's pretty much all of these books, and I've gone back and I've read my reviews, and I still don't remember the books. I don't remember those things happening. Um, and I, try, I also tried, I, I did line these up with like times when I was on a lot of pain medicine or, you know, so, so on and so forth. And those weren't times in, in my life. Because of the medicine that I'm on, I have to keep track of what I'm on when I'm on it because my doctor rotates so I don't get a tolerance for any one drug. So, and this one came 
right right around the time when I was on lower tab. So, um, and that if anybody knows about pain medicine, that definitely is not something that makes you you know think out of your head. Um, yeah, I just don't I don't remember this one at all, but I do remember liking it. Again, that's going to be a running theme. <laughs> Next up is one that is pure art. Um, I don't like I said I don't recall this. Just like you know I don't recall every nuance of every painting I've ever seen. That's The Body Artist by Don DeLillo. And this is kind of what inspired me to do this list. Somebody mentioned um, in my one, in my book, Top Five Books that uh, I love but didn't understand. They mentioned this book. Um, and I remember reading this book, loving it. It's a beautiful piece of art. I don't remember anything about it. So it's, it's, yeah. Um, also, these are the only five that I can that I could think of, other than Dean Koontz books. And I, like I said, I could do an entire video just on Dean Koontz books. But yeah, this one is one of those. I don't remember a thing that happens in this. Not a thing. Um, and I'm just now realizing <laughs> how boring this video might be because of that. Um, but we're gonna get through it anyways. Um, if nothing else, let's just have that conversation down there in the doobly-doo about what, you know, what things that you, you do not want to admit. And maybe I'll even do a viewer special of things that most readers, well, not most, but things that, five things that readers, uh, don't want to admit to. That would be fun. So yeah, definitely leave your, leave your stuff down there. No shame. If anybody comes in here shaming you, I'll, I'll get rid of them. Okay? Promise. Uh, so the body artist. And last, but certainly not least is the book that I that that won my favorite book of the year I think it was in 2016 is a book that I got for review from Crown Publishing that I don't remember anything about that's the glorious heresies um hearsays heresies 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 um the glorious heresies by Lisa McInery I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what this book was about um, and one of the problems I think with this one is uh, it was also it was the year that I read I think 125 books um, I was in kind of a reading competition with two uh, friends of mine they've since blocked me which is why the you know the the air quotes but uh, yeah so I I read this with with those two and I enjoyed it while I was reading. We had a lot of back and forth. Um, I don't know if I blocked it out of my head because I blocked them out of my head. Um, but it's it's one of those things that I love the book. Um, and I went back and I read my review. I can't remember anything. Like I was talking about how great the in the review I was talking about how great the characters were. I don't remember a thing about the characters. I don't remember the people that I mentioned in the review. <laughs> I don't remember anything about them. Um, another thing I like to talk about is, do you think it's right to have, you know, my five-star review up there for that book, explaining everything I loved about that book? Is that okay to have that as a bubble in time? To have, I love this book at this moment in time, and that's why I loved it. Or, should I reread it and remove that review because my opinion has changed? Obviously, my opinion has changed. If the book is that forgettable, it doesn't deserve five stars. That's how I feel. So what do you guys think about that? Let's have that discussion down there in the doobly-doo also. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Top 5 Friday, a very weird rambly one. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.